Let's make a scam coin. It's a very easy to make a cryptocurrency. It's very easy to market, to buy Reddit posts, to buy Twitter comments, to buy influencers. I myself have been approached by multiple cryptocurrency groups and coins and exchanges, and I just ignore it because I don't wanna sell out my audience. But I'm gonna show you in this video how a cryptocurrency is created, how it can be marketed, how it's misleading, and how you can avoid all of this. So here are the time codes if you just wanna make that jump. But before you do, I would appreciate it if you like this video, cause it helps me out. <coughs> okay, okay. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Do not do this. But really though, it is important for you to understand how making a coin works so you can better protect yourself from these types of scams. These pump and dumps happen and they, they always get the new people. You don't want anyone to dislike cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. That's gonna set back the entire space. We want blockchain and crypto to be adopted by everybody and it should be a comfortable space where people don't get scammed. Market cap. A lot of people don't understand market cap. So if we make a huge coin supply, you know, people go for trillion, we're going for quadrillion, kajillion, whatever is after trillion, we're going for that. We're going to make the per coin price so small, people are gonna think it's dirt cheap and they're gonna have millions of this worthless token. And if you're not familiar with market cap, this is how it works. Market cap is determined by coin price times the circulating supply. Then you have the fully diluted market cap, coin price times the total supply. So you can see that the price per coin is very different among all these cryptocurrencies. With TRX being worth $8.8 .8 billion and Monero being worth $6.8 billion, you can see that the per coin price with TRX is much cheaper than XMR, that's Monero. But if we were going to invest in the cheaper currency, it would be the one with the lower market cap because the coin supply for TRX is significantly higher. So let's say I buy $1,000 worth of any of these coins, this is how many I'm gonna get. The amount of coins I get doesn't really matter. What matters here is the market cap. So if I want a 100% gain with Monero, it would have to increase by $6.8 billion. For TRX, I would need $8.8 .8 billion. So it would take less money for me to get a 100% gain. You go with the coin with the cheaper market cap. Another example, let's take a look at these coins again and let's say they all have the exact same market cap. If they have the same market cap, they are the exact same price. The only difference is their circulating supply. So you have to divide their market cap by their circulating supply and then you get the coin price. So even though a coin is worth less than one cent, significantly less than a penny, it doesn't mean it's cheaper. It doesn't mean that's the better deal. We should only be looking at market cap. But if we are making a scam coin, we want the highest coin supply possible so people think the coin is cheap. What do you think is heavier, a pound of feathers or a pound of lead? Let me know in the comments. All right, I gotta keep stressing the point of market cap, so let's do one more. Let's say you have two apples. One apple is cut up into two pieces, another apple is cut up into one million pieces. How many apples do you have? You have two apples. Even though one apple is cut up into multiple pieces, the overall substance you have is an apple. Let's consider that a market cap and coin supply. And the market cap is the value of that apple. You have one apple and apples are going for $10. The market cap of that apple, $10. Same thing with the other apple in millions of pieces, that's still one apple and apples still cost the same amount. So remember, coin price is nonsense. Always look at the market cap. Coming up with a coin name. So we want to create something where people think they're going to make a lot of money, that the coin is going to moon, that they're going to feel safe, that it's some, or it's similar to Doge. So let's just type in Doge. Oh, there's 15 results with the name Doge. So that might be a crowded space. Let's uh, let's skip that. Let's look up Moon. Okay, there are 53 coins with the name Moon in it. So we might want to skip that one. Let's see Safe. There are 37 coins with the name Safe in it. So uh, we might uh, might want to skip that. When coming up with a cryptocurrency name, a lot of these projects 
don't want you to think. They just want you to immediately associate the name of that coin to be safe and that you're gonna make money or that it's very similar to an existing successful coin. So if you are gonna make a scam coin, those are the things you should consider. If you're trying to avoid scams, those are the things you should consider. The costs of starting your scam coin. All in all, it might cost you a little less than $6,000 to get started. You have to launch your coin if it's going to be on the Wobi Eco Chain, Binance Smart Chain is really popular, or on Ethereum. Now, I'm gonna avoid Ethereum because the gas fees are insane, so that's not an option. Binance Smart Chain is a little pricey, but you have a lot of users. So you're gonna see more scam coins on Binance Smart Chain. And to launch that coin, it's gonna cost you 0.784 BNB, and that's about $455 as of the making of this video. And then after you make your coin, you're gonna to need to make a website and some videos. You could do this yourself. There are a lot of website building templates you can do, a lot of free trials. You're not in this for the long run, so you really don't need that domain or website for very long. Influencers, you can buy influencers. As an influencer myself, I get a lot of requests from scam projects and I just ignore them. I, I don't want people to lose money and that's why I'm making this video so you kind of understand this entire process. You can buy TikTok influencers, YouTubers, uh, Twitch streamers, and uh, Reddit posts. So that's pretty easy to do. Uh, with TikTok, a lot of these young kids have big audiences and they don't make much money. With the TikTok creator fund, some of them might make a thousand dollars a month and that's if they have millions upon millions of views each month and if we're going to take advantage of anyone we want to take advantage of people who don't understand finance so if you're a bad person and want to scam young people this is how you do it you buy tiktokers now this is just awful i don't support any of this i just really want you to understand this is what's happening and we can also buy posts on Reddit and a lot of other places. It can be Reddit, Medium, Quora, LinkedIn, and Trustpilot. So let's see how much it costs for one Reddit post. So we want some upvotes. We want 200 upvotes, that's 30 bucks. And let's see the add-ons. Now we want 10 engaging comments. That's gonna cost us another $8. So that's $38 for upvotes and comments to promote your cryptocurrency. It's really that easy to take advantage of Reddit and these other social media sites. Now let's say we wanna buy some posts on Twitter. For 10 comments that will just keep saying the name of our coin, it's gonna cost two bucks. It's gonna cost $2 for 10 comments. We're gonna to wanna to buy a lot of these comments and we're gonna want these comments to, these comments to be on the Twitter pages and posts of popular exchanges, influencers, and cryptocurrency projects. So if you ever see a crypto project mentioned in a comment, do your research. The likelihood of that being a scam could be very high. And altogether, with a budget of less than $6,000, you can get your cryptocurrency started. You can start your pump and dump and become a billionaire if uh, you know how to pump it really well. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing it too. Not, not, not the greatest phrase to say uh, or take out of context. So that's how that scam works. If you want to invest in your own cryptocurrency scam, It'll cost you less than $6,000 to get started, and you don't even have to be that tech savvy. So with that, let's start a coin. Making a cryptocurrency. So it's very easy to do as we went over the prices earlier. We're gonna wanna make a coin on Binance Smart Chain. So we're gonna wanna connect our wallet, we're gonna connect our trust wallet, and we're gonna need some Binance token in there. And then after you connect your wallet, we're gonna create a Binance token over here. Look for the Binance icon. And then we're going to create a BEB20 token. That is a Binance Smart Chain token, kind of like the ERC20 token. This is a Binance token, BEP20. And then we come up with a name for our token. So let's say Moonsafe, and we'll call it Moonsafe. And this is the initial supply. You can put any number here. Most coins really don't go over one trillion, but there's a few brave enough to go beyond that. So let's say one, thousand, million, billion, trillion, 
kajillion. And then you can set your other settings here. Can burn, deflation, pause. That's, you kind of just freeze the network. But let's just hit create token. And I don't have my wallet connected. It's really that easy though. Once you connect your wallet, you just have to confirm that you wanna create the token and then you pay that fee. But once all these tokens arrive, what do you do with them? You can't just have them sitting in one wallet. You're gonna to want to have them sitting in multiple wallets. So you can create a lot of wallets very easily. So if we go back to the Binance section here, we go to batch wallet generate. And let's say we want to have a significant portion of all these tokens, let's say 90% of them, and we want to hide them in 1000 different wallets, we can do that. We can even go higher than that, but it's going to be really hard to manage. So let's uh, do that. And here we have it. It is that easy. It is generating all the wallets we need. That is the wallet, that is the private key, and this is how we can access it if we want to restore that wallet to uh, trust wallet or anywhere else. We can just copy it here and we can export all this data. It's very easy for a scam coin to say, oh, we only have a few tokens. We this is our developer wallet. This is our burn fund, whatever. You can have thousands of wallets slowly bleeding out the liquidity of the project as they're cashing out and taking advantage of people through this pump and dump. It's just a much slower dump, but it's very easy to do and then you're gonna to wanna to distribute those tokens. Also very easy to do through the Coin Tool app. So you go back to this Binance section and then we can select BSC token multi-sender. That you can airdrop tokens, you can batch send them and that's how you can distribute these tokens to all of your wallets. You own a majority of the supply and then you dump the rest on victims. So this is how that works. Don't be a victim. It's this is very easy to do. And if you're using the coin tool app anyway, they have a lot of features for different types of coins and you probably won't even notice it, but you can scroll down. And if you scroll down here, there is a section that just says happy. Let's click that. And demonetized, we gotta get out of here. All right, so uh, yeah, if you use the coin tool app, there's a lot of features here for multiple tokens, for creating your token, distributing it, collecting it, making airdrops, and this is for the Wobi chain, Binance chain, uh, Ethereum. Tron chain is simped working when I tried using it, so uh, be aware of that. Listing your token. So you can easily start trading your coin on the Binance Smart Chain with PancakeSwap. Now you're gonna want some trading volume there, so you're gonna have to have two wallets set up or they're just buying and selling the exact same tokens. As you're building up that fake volume, you're also going to be promoting your coin through multiple social networks, Reddit, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, to get more people's attention. As they see the coin price is really cheap, that's when the suckers come in and start buying that coin. Now, if we wanna list our coin on more exchanges, we can pay for a listing. A lot of these exchanges have a very low bar for getting in. They just wanna see trading volume so they make money. They are not interested in the quality of the project, which is why you won't see any of these scam coins or any of coin that has been out for a month on Binance or Coinbase. They are very selective of their projects and they have to go through a very thorough vetting process before they get listed. So if you are an investor and you want to get in new coins, I highly suggest looking at Coinbase Ventures, see what they're investing in and look at the Binance Launchpad. See what Binance is investing in and what they're gonna be launching soon and if you should invest, if it's a good project and you believe in it. Making your website. Now, you don't really have to make anything too complicated, you just have to be very direct. From the homepage, you can even have home. Just put home there. You can sell merch and make a little extra cheddar. You can put in your white paper. Most importantly, show how to buy your token, the Safe Moon contract, and buy now. Basically, those are three buttons that lead you to buying the coin. And for your team, you could put whatever. No one really checks these things. As long as there's a picture up there, you can steal that off the internet or anything. And people do not do a reverse Google image search, even though they should. And as a scam project, you have to idolize this one. They have over 1 million holders, 
very few projects have over a million holders and them being around for a month, very impressive with a market cap in the billions. So this has been the most impressive scam project. If you are a scammer, look up to these guys. These guys know how to do it. As an added bonus, you can check out their funding page. And yeah, that's the first image you see. And they have a fundraiser to raise $1 million so they can make their own exchange. These guys got $773,000 worth of cryptocurrency for you to fund them to make their own exchange. Now, why does that matter? Uh, yeah, that's too much money. You can whitelist an exchange. You can make your own crypto exchange for a few thousand dollars. That is not very hard to do but a quality project will get listed by exchanges. That is just going to happen. And this guy got three quarters of a million dollars. I highly recommend watching this video from the homepage. Just hit the funding page because there's no link anywhere else. Let's just watch a little. I'm the CEO of Safeway. Today, I'll be talking to you guys about the Safeway exchange. This video is 48 seconds. And he doesn't remember any of this. If you're developing a project, you know it inside and out. You don't really need a teleprompter or a script. You know what you're working on. So they're trying to raise a million dollars from other tokens. And as you can see, they don't even accept their own token. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry if you invested in this. Um, but if you are going to be a scammer, look up to these guys. They know how to do it. Making your commercial. You gotta make a pitch to people to invest in your coin. So you want them to focus on, they're gonna make money fast. Don't focus on the technology, focus on them making money by holding the token and that they just keep getting rewards. Obviously, this project has no technology behind it. We're just riding the coattails of existing tech and we're just going to try and market it better. So let's make a commercial. Hi, do you want to get rich quick with cryptocurrency? You can buy this coin and you'll be super rich to the moon. And some of the Safe Moon Army, if you're out there and you're watching this video and you're trying to defend your investment, that's okay. I'm, I'm not invested. I don't like money. Uh, I'm on the other side of this. I support SafeMoon as a scam. I'm like, yeah, they're doing a great job. There is no other coin out there that has been out for a month, got 1 million users, and a market cap in the billions in a month. It's very impressive. It has shown us all the power of social media, the power of uh, the group mentality. And even though I'm not an investor, it, it's just very entertaining to watch. Now, if you are invested in it or you've been scammed before, it's a lesson. I'm sorry, that's just what it is. There are so many crypto scams out there. I've been scammed when I first started and I learned a lot. I learned about investing in a quality project, a quality team, and making sure it's a project that lasts a long time. I am very scared to invest in any coin that is not listed on a semi-major exchange, especially if that coin only trades on a swapping platform like Uniswap or PancakeSwap. That's a very dangerous coin. We don't know how long it's gonna last. We don't know if it's gonna dump, and uh, the coin can say anything. Any new project, they can say whatever they want. They can write anything they want on their white paper. They could say this is a impressive roadmap. They can say, yeah, we got partnerships with Ikea, uh, Binance, uh, Toyota, Nike, whatever. They can say all of that and they don't have to justify it. You gotta remember, none of these projects are regulated. They can say whatever they want. Once they get your money, they're gone. Is there a penalty for them? Do they get arrested? No, they just disappear. That's the, that's the bad part about cryptocurrency. And if people get scammed, like a million people get scammed, then we have more regulation in cryptocurrency and that's just bad for everybody. That's what happened with ICOs in 2018. A lot of people fell for ICOs, I did too, because they can say anything and you're giving your money to them upfront. So with that, I hope you learned a lot. I hope you hit that like button, that helps me out, and you got your full value for today.